Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCA TTV studio, I'm Ramaya Henderson alongside Quinlan Moore. Coming up in today's show, member of the side clubs are recognized for their billboard design. Lily Haverly showcases a PBL course in a one-minute documentary series, and reporter Katie Allball highlights the hard work and determination of one of the seniors in today's student spotlight. I'll listen more on your WCA TV news. If you're a senior who is planning to major in education, you are eligible to apply for the GLEA scholarship. Look for application information on the Guidance Office scholarship site. Please see Mrs. Kubis if you have any questions, and be sure to turn in your application form to her in room H108 by the end of the day, Wednesday, April 26th. In addition, many more scholarships are coming into the Guidance Office at this time. Please check the district scholarship page regularly. Attention forensic team members. The end of the year banquet is held on Wednesday, May 10th at Greensburg Salem High School. Please RSVP to Dr. Bomb as soon as possible so that she can make plans. Any questions, see her. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Gianna Lewis for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today we have a high of 64 and a low of 40 with a 40% chance of rain. Tomorrow we have a high of 43 and a low of 34 with cloudy skies. And lastly, on Wednesday, we will have a high of 60 and a low of 31 with sunny skies. That's your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Students in Westmoreland County, ages 16 to 18, are invited to attend the Manufacturing 365 Summer Camp in Greensburg from July 10th to July 20th. Get paid to learn about manufacturing, earn a certificate, tour job sites, network with companies, and find a job in manufacturing and have fun. Students will earn $400 to attend all eight days. Space is limited to apply. Please call 724-836-2600, extensions 223, for more information. Are you interested in working for the Greater Lake Trobe School District this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a 10-week program, but hours are flexible if you already have previous plans. All applicants must have working papers, and anyone 18 years of age or older must have clearances. Work includes general cleaning, moving furniture, light maintenance, and groundskeeping. The pay rate is $10.50 per hour. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Yetter for an application form and return it to the Facilities, Operations, and Planning Department at the Administration Office or email your information to amy.sassos at glsd.us by Wednesday, May 3rd to be approved at the May 17th School Board meeting. We'll be back after this message. Congratulations to Megan Brackney, McKenna Brackney, Emily Sweeney, Gianna Lewis, and Asia Renee Mills for winning second place in the Highway Traffic Safety Network State Farm No Excuses for Distracted Driving Billboard Design Contest. The girls split a $500 prize and received another $500 for the SAD Club. Congratulations and great work. On Friday, April 21st, we have a very special guest speaker visiting the senior high school. Professional artist and speed painter Cody Sable will be presenting during both Lunch and Learns and the auditorium. Cody is a Pittsburgh native and a nationally recognized artist who is known for creating realistic paintings in a matter of minutes. All students are encouraged to attend and watch him as he creates two hyper-realistic masterpieces live. We go to Richard Hillwick for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, the softball team takes on the Penn Trafford Lady Warriors here at Graham Sabota Field at 3.30. The boys' tennis team heads to Norwin for their match at 3.30. The boys lacrosse team travels to Greensburg Central Catholic for their game at 6. And the baseball team takes on the Albert Gallatin Colonials here at Graham Sabota at 7. That's all for Wildcat Sports. Now here's Joe Coletti with National Sports. Hey Wildcats, in sports your Pirates are in action tonight versus the Colorado Rockies in the Mile High City at 8.40 p.m. This is the first of a three-game series with the Rockies. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Joe. Broadcast and video production 2 students have created one-minute documentary series based on the 60-second doc series. Here's a video created by Lily Haverly. My name is Mrs. Koss, and I am a family and consumer science and business teacher here at Greater Latrobe Senior High School. 
we were trying to think of natural fits for the family and consumer science curriculum as well as the business education curriculum. And so it was just one of those things where why don't we run an apparel and more business? That was the original idea. And through grants and other funds, we've really been able to um, create something that is hands-on for students and really cross-curricular. Because we're running a business, we're able to have students who are not only the more creative artistic types, but students who are more interested in the social media and the marketing aspect, uh, students that are really interested in just the production of the products, and then also students who are interested in the more financial side of things. So this certainly is a class for really anyone who would be interested in starting and running their own business. Now we get a look at a student who shines on and off the field. Here's reporter Katie Alba with today's Student Spotlight. With a 4.25 GPA, Gabby Bird is a student athlete excelling on and off the field. To achieve the success, Gabby has had many important people impact her throughout her journey. I play for my Vipers travel team since I was nine years old and those are kind of the, like, I built some of my best friends on that team and so, the Vipers was kind of a big part of my softball career and the Lake Trobe softball team. And my dad has also been an inspiration and a coach for me along the way. In addition, Gabby's mom has served as an important role model. She's really like a strong and independent woman and is kind of in a field that not a lot of women are. She's in the military, so watching her like in her element has really inspired me. Gabby has taken this as her inspiration and displayed it in all aspects of life. When Gabby heard of the Voice of Democracy competition, which is a competition to promote patriotism and invest in future generations, she knew she had to jump on the opportunity. Watching her mother throughout her childhood sparked a reason to compete. Mr. Pratt just kind of gave me the essay and I wrote it and I just kind of kept moving forward through the competition after that. This year, Gabby is involved in two AP classes and a work study at Excel Health. With a busy softball schedule, Gabby needs to manage her time wisely. And a way to do that is like staying organized and keeping a calendar to like write down everything that you need to do and when it's due. Gabby's time at Excel Health allows her to see people perform what she would love to do after graduation. I get to leave halfway through the school day and go sit in a doctor's office and be around the people that I want to be one day and get to learn and listen to everything that they're talking about and it's just really helpful to kind of picture myself in that environment. Gabby would go on to bigger and better things after graduation by going to the University of Pittsburgh's Frederick Honors College at Maine campus and extending her education in the science field to become a doctor. With all of her hard work and dedication, Gabby will complete any challenge life throws at her. Now, here's Emily Sweeney with the Wildcat World News. Good morning, Leitrobe. Today in World News, many cities in Germany have been experiencing exploding ATM machines. Two got blown up early the same morning late last month, but since then they have been exploding at a rate of over one per day. In 2021, 392 machines exploded, and in 2022, 496 did. As of yesterday, police have recorded 47 incidents in 2023. Next up, the FBI arrested 21-year-old Air Force Guardsmen for leaking classified documents onto social media. The documents contained intelligence assessments about other countries, including the war in Ukraine. It took only a few days to narrow down the search, find the culprit, and for him to be taken into custody. And in local news, last Thursday morning at Excella Health Latrobe Hospital, a flag was raised as a message to the community that donations save lives. Many people gathered to raise awareness for organ, tissue, and cornea donations. That's all for world and local news. Back to you. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCATTV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats!